C-3PO is a droid that is fluent in over 6 million forms of communication, which is impressive, right? But what we need is a droid that knows how to rock metallic. To get started with this look, you want to use a very pigmented but creamy eyeshadow. This one is from CoverGirl from their Star Wars collection. I'm taking a little bit and putting it on my fingers and then dabbing it from the inner corner of my eye all over the lid to the outer corner. Then I'm bringing it up onto my eyebrows to lighten them a little bit, up onto my temple, then bringing it down onto my cheekbone. Basically, it's an extreme form of strobing. You wanna look like you could be seen in the next galaxy. To really create angles to your face, you want to take a matte bronzer and hollow out your cheeks. Start at your dimples and then work your way up towards your hairline. It's okay to go overboard, it's just a costume. I also contoured my forehead, my jawline, and my nose. For the eyebrows, you want to make them appear a little bit lighter than normal. I'm using an eyeshadow primer, putting it on a spoolie, and brushing them through my eyebrow hair. You could also use concealer or some of that opaque cream shadow that you used before. For your eyes, you already have that base layer of that creamy gold shadow. That's going to act like a primer. From here, use a powder shadow in a beige color and apply it all over the lid. Make sure to focus on the inner corner of your eyes and your brow bone. This is going to create a highlight. Then take a gold powder shadow and create a wash all over the lid. Focus mostly on the center and then buff it out towards the inner and outer corners. If you'd like, take a little bit of this gold shadow and apply it to your cheekbones. This will make your metallic finish look even better. Then you want to create depth on the lid, otherwise you're just going to look very, very flat. So using a copper shade or a rose gold, something that's a little bit more bronzy, you want to create a crease on your eyelid. Also, you can wing it out at the edges to create a faux cat eye. I'm buffing the copper shade a little bit underneath my eyes to define them. Then I'm applying a blush shade, something that I might normally wear on my cheeks, to my eyelid, but focusing it more towards my lash line. Then to really define your lash line on the top and bottom, use a sepia or a burgundy shade of shadow and just wash it right over that lash line. I'm using a matte eyeliner in brown. To finish off the eyes, use mascara generously. We're using the dark side mascara from CoverGirl. We're almost done. Pretty simple, right? For the lips, you do want to go with the gold shades, and I did a few different things. First, I started with a gold lipstick. This one is from CoverGirl. It's a little transparent. It's meant to be worn every single day, but I want this to look really metallic, so I'm taking that cream eyeshadow from before and just patting it all over my lips. Then to finish things off, I'm using a gold shimmer lip gloss just to enhance my lips. Now your makeup is done, so it's time for the hair. I have short hair, so this is gonna be really fun and really easy, but you can use the same technique if you have longer hair too. First step is just to get a lot of gel. Be generous with it, don't be scared. Put a lot of it in your palm, rub it between your hands, and just start smoothing back the sides of your hair. You really want those sides to be as close to your head as possible. The top can kind of be looser and a little bit more voluminous, but you still wanna put gel there so it stays put. And don't forget about the bottom of your hair. It should be loose, it should be soft, it should be freely flowing. Basically, you look like you have an intergalactic mullet. From there, I'm adding in some glitter spray. When I bought this, I initially thought that it was gonna come out more opaque, but it turns out it's more of a sparkle. So I'm adding a little bit all over the top of my head, and then I'm going in with loose eyeshadow pigment in gold and just brushing it on top of the gel and the spray. That way it really pops. Then set the whole look with hairspray and you're good to go. Now you're droid ready.